Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this 10th day of April. And today's topic for today is uh, titled, What Are You Talking About? So before we get started on all that, I'd like to greet you, in, as always, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Amen. All right, so today we're going to sing John three sixteen and 17, and I'm sure most of you all know these verses by heart. If not, well, you're going to learn them today, what God came and uh, brought his son here to do, sent his son down here to die for our sins, and so on and so forth, which we'll hear in these verses. So let me press play, and we'll sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. Amen. John three sixteen and 17. For, for God, God so loved, loved the world... world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. Here we go. For God so loved the world, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son, for God sent not his Son, into the world to condemn the world, but that the world, world through him might be saved. Not so love the world. Amen. Sure did. All right. And he still does, and he still wants to save your soul today. If you'll humble yourself and trust him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. All right, so put that aside and sing those scripture songs again towards the end of the broadcast. But now it's time to get into today's topic from the Baptist Bread for Sunday, April 10th. And it's titled again, What Are You Talking About? And the passage is from Acts 1.8. It says, But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me. And so on and so forth. And I encourage you to go read the whole entire chapter, chapter from Acts 1, uh, chapter 1. All right, so today's author is K.M. That would be the initials for, I think that's Ken McComas. Let me see here. Uh, yep, that's uh, Ken McComas, and he's from Ritman, Ohio. So let me read you what he wrote here on this topic of what are you talking about? So he writes here, When Peter and John had gone up to the temple to pray at the ninth hour, a man who had been lame for thirty-eight years uh, lay at the gate beautiful, made of highly polished Corinthian brass. He was lying there with a little cup, just a helpless little twisted limp cripple, uh, Peter and John started by, started by, and he said, Could you give me some alms? Peter replied, I have neither silver or gold, but what I have I will give you in Jesus' name. Get up and walk, he says. And the man rose up and walked. Amen. As he was running about, he created a disturbance. Peter and John were taken before the Sanhedrin court, threatened and had their backs beaten. Wise Gamaliel, the lawyer, said, You better keep your hands off these men. If they are of the devil, they'll come to nothing, and if they're of God, you can't stop them, right? Amen. Finally, the ruler of the court said, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll let you go if you promise not to do this any more. Peter answered, For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. Acts 4.20. Amen. Uh, the mouth is the outlet of the heart, Jesus said. For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. Matthew 12.34b. When you hear someone constantly criticizing, 
finding fault, looking at the bad side of everything, you can rest assured, down in their heart, they are envious or jealous. What are you talking about? Hmm. So what are we talking about? Hopefully it's the things of Jesus and telling the truth of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. Amen. And uh, proclaiming the good news about uh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All right. So that's the things we should be talking about. So what are you talking about today? Hopefully it's the right things and we're not just talking about secular uh, things that don't matter and talking about the truth of God on Jesus. Amen. All right. So that's the end of the Baptist bread. And now it's time to get into the Boots on the Ground devotional. And this is from the book Boots on the Ground, Daily Devotions for the Christian Soldier, written by Randy Wells. And today's topic for the 10th is the, the Father's Presence. And this takes place on April 10th, 1979. It says in Psalm 56, 3, What time I am afraid I will trust in thee. Psalm 56, 3. All right, so uh, he writes here, No matter where one gets stationed in the military, the weather is often an adjustment for newly installed families. Whether dealing with snow at Minot Air Force Base or humidity at Barksdale Air Force Base, families have to learn to handle the weather. Terrible Tuesday is an ominous phrase that those stationed at Shepherd Air Force Base used use for the uh, mile-wide F4 tornado that annihilated Wichita Falls, Texas, on 10 April 1979. When my family was stationed at Shepherd, he says, we learned to deal with the tornado season during the spring months. Seemingly, every time I was at my off-duty job in Fort Worth, a tornado warning would sound for base housing. Because we had no basement, my wife would gather our two boys in a closet in the center of the house. To get their minds off the danger, she would read Bible stories or sing Sunday school songs to them. As soon as I heard of the tornado warnings, I would call my family to reassure them, and they would take com great comfort in just hearing my voice. Although I was not physically next to them, they knew I was aware of their trouble and praying for them. God is our loving Father, and unlike an earthly father, He is always with us. In Psalm 139, 8-12, the psalmist emphasizes the omnipresence of God. If I ascend up into heaven, there are there Thou art there, excuse me, if I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from, not, hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. Due to God's eternal presence, we should not fear the storms of life. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the Let me read that. So it says again, Due to God's eternal presence, we should not fear the storms of life. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, 1. Whatever fears you may have today, God knows about them, and he is here for you. Amen and hallelujah for that also. Praise God. All right, so that is the end of the Boots on the Ground devotional. Amen. And now I'll go ahead and get into today's uh, hymn. And... Pick this one because uh, I think there was a I think there was yesterday's devotional topic from Boots on the Ground talking about the um, the Lord passing over uh, the nation of Israel and uh, if they had the blood on the doorpost then He would pass over them, Amen. And so I figured I'd sing this uh, hymn today. I was going to sing it yesterday, um, so I'll go ahead and sing it today. And it's titled, When I See the Blood. And this is in the blue hymnal. It wasn't in the other one. So I grabbed the blue hymnal and 
This is titled Great Hymns of the Faith, and it's on page 232, and it says Salvation. And this was written by John Foote, who lived in the 19th century, and J.G. Foote, uh, also 19th century, uh, might be the same person. All right, <clears throat> let me try to get the tune here. Christ the Redeemer died on the cross, died for the sinner, paid all his due. Sprinkle your soul with the blood of the Lamb, and I will pass, will pass over you. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass, I will pass over you. The chiefest of sinners, Jesus will save. All he has promised that he will do. Wash in the fountain, open for sin. And I will pass, will pass over you. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass, I will pass over you. Judgment is coming, all will be there, each one receiving justly his due. Hide in the saving, sin-cleansing blood, and I will pass, will pass over you. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass, I will pass over you. Oh, great compassion, oh, boundless love, oh, loving kindness, faithful and true. Find peace and shelter under the blood, and I will pass, will pass over you. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass, I will pass over you. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. And that is the end of the hymn for today, When I See the Blood. And I think tomorrow I will sing um, Look and Live, because we sang that one today. Amen. And we'll do that one tomorrow. Look and Live. Amen. All right. So now we'll go ahead and sing some scripture songs before we wrap it up for today. So we'll do yesterday's and then conclude with today's. All right. Here we go. Proverbs 6, 6 through 8. Go to, to the ant, thou sluggard, and consider her, her ways, and be wise, which, having no guide, or seer, or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer, and gather her food in the harvest. That's right. Go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise, which, having no guide, or seer, or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer, Gather with their food in the ha harvest. Gather with their food in the harvest. Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Which having no guide or a seer or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer. And gather with their food in the ha harvest. And gather with their food in the harvest. Amen. All right, now we'll conclude with today's. John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. That's talking about Jesus, by the way. For God so loved the world, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son, for God sent not his Son, into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. For God so loved the world. That's right, amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, that'll be it for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song. And then tomorrow's topics for the Baptist bread and boots on the ground. So tomorrow we'll be singing Mark 8, 36-37. It says, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Hmm. Good question. So hopefully... uh. You know that already, and uh, amen. So that'll be tomorrow's scripture song from Mark eight thirty six and thirty seven, and then tomorrow's Baptist bread devotional topic will be titled. Mm-mm, let me get there. All right. So tomorrow's topic is alone with him in a crowd, and the passage is Luke nine eighteen a. The first part of verse eighteen from Luke nine, amen. And that's the Baptist bread. And then the Boots on the Ground devotion for tomorrow will be uh, titled Stolen Tags. And this takes place on April 11th, 2018. And the passage is from Luke 10, 20. So that will be tomorrow's uh, Boots on the Ground. And, uh, oh man, my hymn book's way over there, but uh, let me see if it's in this one. Alright, so tomorrow's uh, hymn is... Uh, Look and Live is the one I'll do tomorrow. Let me see if it's in this hymn book. I believe it's in the blue one. Uh, We did sing it today, so it should be in there. Let's see. Look and Live. Let's see. L, L, L. Look and Live. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Well, in the blue book, it's uh, on page 195 in the blue. So, uh, if you have a blue hymnal, you can follow along in that one. And then the one I usually use is the um, Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. And that's uh, available on MelodyPublications.com. That's how you can get that uh, big, thick hymn book. Amen. And then the Scripture Song book is, uh, this is the cover to it. And that and the CDs are available on Brother Dean and Sister Patty's website at www.DailyScriptureSongs.com. And that's how you can get that. And they are missionaries to Port Kaituma, Guyana, so pray for them and all those that are helping them with the work over there and getting the gospel out, and pray for all the brethren and the sistren over there and other countries uh, uh, on their mission work over there. Amen. And then we got the Baptist Bread devotional book here. This is from last month and this month, so if you order now, you'll probably get the one for um, May and June. So if you order that, that'll be on the internet at www.baptistbread.com. And that's how you can get those uh, going there for subscription. Amen. And then finally, we've got the Boots on the Ground devotional book. Of course, again, it's backwards on your screen, but that's what it looks like, the cover. And you can order that off the Internet or perhaps at this, uh, um, what was the title of the, hold on a second. Let me open this book here and give you the information in the book. Uh, it's titled, uh, the name of the publications is, Striving Together Publications, and that's on 4020 East Lancaster Boulevard in Lancaster, California. So you can maybe check and see if that uh, um, publication company is still available. If not, you can find a used copy on the Internet. Amen. All right. 
And also, if you want to listen to audiobooks being read to you, you can check out my podcast at God's Messenger Lighthouse Podcast on Anchor, Spotify, or iHeartRadio. Amen. So I read um, The Hiding Place and then Return to the Hiding Place and then did, did God's Smuggler and now working through the book uh, Secret Believers, which was written by Brother Andrew, who wrote the uh, or who was um, the one that did God Smuggler is his story. So now he's talking about these different Muslim uh, Muslims that became believers in Christ. Amen. And talking about their story. And uh, amen. So check that out. And next time, uh, see you then. All right. So have a great and wonderful rest of your day. And may the Lord richly bless you until tomorrow. Amen. See you all then. Bye for now.